four, watching out for you. It does not mean that we should let our guard down. This is a gradual process of reopening our county. A gradual, thoughtful, deliberate, and measured process will allow us to move forward. Today, a new plan announced to move forward from St. Louis County Executive Sam Page. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for News 4 at Noon. I'm Claire Kellett. This morning, Dr. Page outlined the new procedure some businesses must abide by to reopen on May 18th. Others, however, still will not be allowed to reopen quite yet. Those procedures come on the same day the county reported 24 new deaths and 68 new cases of COVID-19. So that brings the county's totals you see here to 244 deaths and nearly 3,800 cases. New at noon today, our Alyssa Toomey is breaking down the new guidelines businesses must follow when stay-at-home restrictions start to ease on May 18th. Within the last few hours, Dr. Sam Page laid out those new guidelines here at the St. Louis County Courts Building. The county will ease some of the current restrictions, but many businesses such as gyms, indoor and outdoor pools, and summer camps will not be able to reopen yet. Moving forward, this does not mean, as we start to discuss easing these orders, does not mean that we should let our guard down. While St. Louis County will slowly begin to reopen May 18th, Dr. Page insists this is not a new normal. Businesses that reopen will have to follow strict social distancing guidelines and can only be at 25% capacity. Employees will have to wear face masks and must be screened daily for symptoms of COVID-19. They will install uh, physical barriers any, any place where social distancing of six feet is not um, easily uh, accomplished. News 4 asked Dr. Page about the concerns that PPE isn't readily available for business owners. There's all kinds of videos on, on YouTube on how to do that um, in 45 seconds or a minute with a handkerchief. Uh, we need a face covering, we need a mask, either um, a simple mask or a cloth covering mask. Page says there's no easy solution and right now their main focus is limiting the spread of COVID-19. Everything about this COVID-19 infection creates an enormous amount of uncertainty. And there are many, many variables that we have to manage and trying to find a path forward. Uh, none of them are um, going to be great, but we think we have a path forward that balances the risk of public health and exposure and transmission. As for the next steps, I asked Dr. Page when we could start to see some of these new guidelines begin to ease. Dr. Page says he's going to be looking at the data every day and looking to our public health experts for guidance. In St. Louis County, Alyssa Toomey, News 4.